Discount and Commission Introduction Great Monsoon Sale Discount up to 50% You may have seen such advertisements. In such a sale, a discount is offered on various goods in the month of July. Shops advertisements on products, these discounts are percentages. Percentage is a very handy way of writing fractions. A ratio with denominator 100 is called a percentage. Profit, loss, discount, commission and rates of interest can be expressed as percentage. Write the appropriate numbers in the following boxes. Discount Mr. Dilip Bhai owns a sari shop. The details of sale of saris and profit earned is given in the following table. From the table it is clear that the discount is given on each sari during the sale in July. The profit on each sari is less but the total saris sold are more hence overall there is more income for Mr. Dilip Bhai. Each item to be sold has a price tag on it. The price on that tag is the marked price of the respective item. Shopkeeper offers discount on the marked price. While selling the object, the actual amount by which the reduced marked price is called the discount. Hence, the selling price is equal to marked price minus discount. Generally, discount is given in terms of the percentage. A 40% discount implies that an item should be sold by reducing the marked price by 40%. That is, if the marked price of an item is rupees 100, a discount of rupees 40 is given on it. Hence, the selling price of the item will be 100 minus 40 is equal to rupees 60. In such a transaction, if the discount is X percent, then X upon 100 is equal to discount upon marked price. Therefore, discount is equal to marked price into X upon 100. Do you know? At present, online shopping of books, clothes, mobiles, etc. is more popular than going to the market. The companies which sell their goods online do not have to spend much on shops and managements. These companies not only give a discount but also give home delivery. Examples 1. If marked price is equal to Rs. 1700, selling price is equal to Rs. 1540, then find the discount. Solution Here, Marked price is equal to Rs. 1700. Selling price is equal to Rs. 1540. We know that selling price is equal to marked price minus discount. Therefore, discount is equal to marked price minus selling price. Therefore, discount is equal to 1700 minus 1540 is equal to Rs. 160. Therefore, discount is equal to Rs. 160. 2. If marked price is equal to rupees 990 and percentage of discount is 10, then find the selling price. Solution 10% discount is given on marked price. Therefore, if marked price is rupees 100, then the selling price is rupees 90. Therefore, when marked price is rupees 990, let the selling price be rupees X. Therefore, X upon 990 is equal to 90 upon 100. Therefore, X is equal to 90 upon 100 into 990 is equal to 9 into 99 is equal to 899. Therefore, X is equal to 899. 
Therefore, selling price is 899 rupees. 3. If selling price is equal to rupees 900, discount is 20%, then find the marked price. Solution 20% discount is given. If the marked price was rupees 100, then the selling price was 100 minus 20, 80 rupees. Now, for selling price 900 rupees, let us assume that the actual marked price is X. Therefore, 80 upon 100 is equal to 900 upon X. Therefore, X is equal to 900 into 100 upon 80 is equal to 90 into 100 upon 8 is equal to 9000 upon 8. Therefore, X is equal to 1125. Therefore, marked price is 1125 rupees. 4. The marked price of the fan is 3000 rupees. Shopkeeper gave 12% discount on it. Find the total discount and selling price of the fan. Solution 12% discount is given on marked price. Therefore, if the marked price is rupees 100, then the selling price is rupees 88. Therefore, when marked price is 3000 rupees, let the selling price be rupees X. Therefore, X upon 3000 is equal to 88 upon 100. Therefore, X is equal to 88 upon 100 into 3000 is equal to 88 into 30 is equal to 2640. Therefore, X is equal to 2640. Therefore, selling price of the fan is 2640 rupees. We know that discount is equal to marked price minus selling price. Therefore, discount is equal to 3000 minus 2640 is equal to 360. Therefore, discount is equal to rupees 360. Commission Sometimes it is not possible for a company to sell their manufactured goods. In such a case, the company assigns responsibility of selling the goods like cloth, soap, books, etc. The person gets some remuneration for the service. The remuneration is called commission. The person who provides such type of service is called a commission agent. Commission is decided in terms of percentage. The rates of commission vary according to the types of goods. If owners of land, house, cattle, etc. want to sell the belongings, it is not easy for them to find such customers. In such a situation, the person who brings the seller and the buyer together is known as a mediator or agent or a commission agent. Fruits, flowers, vegetables and food grains are also sold with the help of a mediator or an agent. For the job, the agent gets commission. The commission is received from the seller or the buyer or from both. Examples 1. Rafiq sold flowers worth rupees 15,000 by giving 4% commission to the agent. Find the commission he paid. Find the amount received by Rafiq. Solution Selling price of flowers is equal to rupees 15,000. The commission rate is equal to 4%. Therefore, commission is equal to 15,000 into 4 upon 100 is equal to 150 into 4 is equal to rupees 600. Therefore, Rafiq paid 600 rupees commission to the agent. Therefore, amount received by selling flowers is equal to selling price of flowers minus commission is equal to 15,000 minus 600 is equal to rupees 14,400. After selling the flowers, Rafiq received 
14,400 2. A farmer sold food grains for 9,200 rupees through an agent. The rate of commission was 2%. How much amount did the agent get? Solution Selling price of food grains is equal to rupees 9,200. The commission rate is equal to 2%. Therefore, commission is equal to 9,200 into 2 upon 100 is equal to 92 into 2 is equal to rupees 184. Therefore, agent received 184 rupees. Rebate The organizations like Khadi Gramudyog, Handloom Shops, Handicraft, Selling Centers, Bachat Groups, etc. give attractive discounts on special occasions. For example, at the time of Gandhi Jayanti, the Khadi textile goods are discounted for promoting Khadi. At such times, the amount of discount is compensated by the government. This monetary compensation is known as rebate. Hence, rebate is also a type of discount. The individuals having income up to certain limit also receives some discount on the payable income tax. This discount is also known as rebate. Examples 1. From a handloom store, Jenny purchased the following items. 1. Two curtains, rupees 550 each. 2. Two cushion covers, rupees 325 each. On the purchase, she received a rebate of 20%. Find the total rebate. How much should Jenny pay to the shopkeeper? Solution Cost of two curtains is equal to 2 into 550 is equal to rupees 1100. Cost of two cushion covers is equal to 2 into 325 is equal to rupees 650. Total cost of items purchased is equal to 1100 plus 650 is equal to rupees 1750. On the purchase, Jenny received a rebate of rupees 20%. Therefore, total rebate given on marked price is equal to 1750 into 20 upon 100 is equal to 175 into 2 is equal to rupees. 350. Therefore, Jenny has to pay 1750 minus 350 is equal to rupees 1400. 2. Umatai purchased following items from a Khadi Bhandar. 1. 3 saris for 560 rupees each. 2. 6 bottles of honey for 90 rupees each. On the purchase, she received a rebate of 12%. How much total amount did Uma Tai pay? Solution Cost of 3 saris is equal to 3 into 560 is equal to rupees 1680. Cost of 6 bottles of honey is equal to 6 into 90 is equal to rupees 540. Total cost of items purchased is equal to 1680 plus 540 is equal to rupees 2220. On the purchase, Umatai received a rebate of 12%. Therefore, total rebate given on marked price is equal to 2220 into 12 upon 100 is equal to 222 into 12 upon 10 is equal to 2664 upon 10 is equal to rupees 266.4. Therefore, total amount paid by Umatai is equal to 2220 minus 266.4 is equal to rupees 1953.6.